right so the next pair I'm going to look at again I'm looking for the big moves so the next pair I'm going to look at is the pound dollar no have a safe drive uh, have a safe drive uh, Paula and we'll have the recordings up for you in a couple of hours you're not through it at all uh, enjoy your drive okay so uh, the next pair I'm going to look at is the uh, dollar uh, the pound dollar and as you guys see this now is there is the big difference between uh, that and the, the futures because this is here the 162.97 as you see here has been a very significant point for us which has been this let's say significant point and it has also played here guys as a minor structure so this 162.97 is a a very significant point because it has been let's say a significant point on the way up and it has been also a significant point on the way down and also a minor structure and you know why I'm saying a minor structure because you can see the these highs are pretty much small so being that kind of small or uh, not so well defined would give us the uh, the understanding that they are of a, a lower magnitude if you will but still th this is a structure point still this is a major significant point this is a major significant point this is a major structure point and now we closed below them we broke through them and now we ended the week at 162.28 i.e. we are 70 points below that and that is extremely negative and the move is now should take us to the second major structure point and this guys is something for uh, I want to share with you because it's it's brilliant it's uh, it's one of the things that makes me enjoy doing what we're doing together here identifying the behaviors and stuff like that and we can identify where the prices should be going how the how that we can have our anticipation of the move so you see when it here you have the setup 162.97 and you had a major structure over here and we had some testing of it so it was a pretty significant now what is the next level that have the similar representation or the similar I mean this price is the pr representation of the behavior so you can see that around this area around the 159.80 which is a mi major significant point we had the same 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 behavior and when it breaks the 162 it came down to the 159.80 when it breaks the 162 it came down to the 159.80 look how many times one two three four practically five in the span of less than six months in six months we had the same identical behavior a break below the 162.97 would lead to a push down towards the 159.80 and a break below the 159.80 would take us all the way down to the 155.33 so we are in a pretty de magnificent setup as far as the pound goes our bias is definitely to the short side and of course if we have a trade a trade trigger we should be looking now to be short the pound and we're looking for the first target to be the 159.80
okay so we are going to identify now a place where we can sell it so the selling point is going to be pretty much the 162 handle so for the pound my short point is the 162 even and if I go short below the 162 I have to give it a little bit of a big stop I will put my stop above the market side this is the market side as you all know so I place my stop above the market side So this would be the 162.45 okay now on the long side and my structure short in this case is going to be the 159.80 and if it breaks below the 159.80 you're looking for a 500 pip move to the 153 on the long side, I have a structural point here, which is the 162.97. We close the week at 162.28 or 162.30. And there is no reason for us to go long the pound as long as I'm having this beautiful... This is a good chart as you can ever expect to, uh, to, uh, to, to be taking the trade. So I will be buying it only above the 162.00. 97 and it is also going to be my structural point and it is also going to be my long stop okay so I'm only going to buy it above the structural point so let me make it I want you to be very clear with what I'm doing here this is going to be my buying point right there above the structure and I'm going to place my stop right underneath it I'm going to go short below the low I'm going to go short from here below the low and I'm placing my stop over here and uh, so this is my buy point my structure long and my stop my my short point is here and this is my stop and my next structure is the 159.80 that you can see here on your daily chart okay so this is the pound dollar all right and let me stop it anybody has any